Hello internet and welcome back to another video on the EJ Black YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video I haven't done in a while that's browsing the 4chan music board. Alright, so here's somewhere I can share some opinions since I, um, I'm a big black metal man. So we got Burzum, yes. Okay, I haven't heard of that last band before and I don't even know how I'd go about pronouncing it. So I didn't listen to the whole thing, but I didn't mind that. I don't know how much I'd think of that as a top three black metal band, but I'd probably need to listen first before I made up my mind. Um, Over's very good. Old Burzum. Now what's that supposed to mean? Does that mean the old black metal albums? Or does that mean before it was like a neo-folk thing? I don't know, I still like Old Burzum stuff now, but I don't know how much of it you'd consider black metal. And I don't know who these guys are either, nor have I ever heard of them. Now that, that's, that's harsh. Um, Leviathan's really good. Life Lover's really good. I've been listening to a lot of DSPM lately, and Life Lover's been hitting, hitting that itch. Celtic Frost are super good, and I haven't heard of the other two. Um, okay, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of a controversial opinion. I'm not a massive fan of the Nazis, and so I don't think I'll like the National Socialist Black Metal Band. I've never heard, there's a, I mean, I guess there are a lot of elitists, so you might be finding a lot of underground projects. But I've never heard of a lot of these projects. French black metal band from 1993. So that's like an, a fairly early one then. Split up after three years, and it looks like they only ever released demos. So, not that that's a bad thing, but that might be why I've never heard of them. I already hate all the elitist opinions on here. Just shut the hell up, goddamn. I just want to see people's music opinions. Hellhammer's really good, Dark Thorn's really good. Merciful Fate, don't know how much you'd call it black metal, but still. Now, it looks like there's a couple National Socialist black metal bands here. I know Goat Moon are very well known for being National Socialist black metal. And Aryan Art sounds National Socialist. And Burzum has a lot of uh, Nazi ties, especially nowadays. So, not good. Untrue. Yes, 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 and never heard. Sadness is so, so good. One of my favorite DSBM bands ever. Bathur is really good. Dark Thorn's really good, as I've said multiple times now. And I haven't listened to these guys, but I really, I, I've also made a point to listen to them because they seem like a really interesting band from what I've seen. Summoning is amazing at creating the atmosphere in their music for that medieval sound. They're just so, so good. They really give that fantasy sound as well. It's really good. Enslaved are pretty good, they have a lot of really good music. Zathar really gets me every time. I like some Leviathan, Dark Funeral, and Summoning. I think I actually saw Silencer earlier now, I forgot to comment on it, but yeah, I really enjoy Silencer. I do think that Mayhem is a little bit more overrated than Emperor. I think Emperor's a lot better. Yeah, okay, that's enough looking at the black metal posts. Let's keep going. Finally, we've got a thread where people post their own music, and I want to hear some of people's own music because I'm bored at looking at all the shitty posts. So I'm not going to lie, I think I might have actually heard this project before while looking at these threads, but let's give them another listen. So the first project was a massive hit. I really, really liked that song. The vocal samples were really good. It reminded me a little bit of Dungeon Synth at the start, but then the breakbeat hit in and it was super intense and it worked so well together. It felt like it had a bit of a futuristic theme to it, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. If I have heard this project before, which I think I have based on this image here, then I think they must have changed a lot because I reckon I would remember a project like this. That's really, really good. Alright, let's give this second project a look. It says it's got some shoegaze and some post-punk, post-metal, so, I mean, I hope I'll enjoy it. Let's give just the first song a listen. Or maybe the second song, since that's the one they've put at the top. Alright, so that, again, was a really, really good one. Very different to the first, but super good again. It was more of an atmospheric based, but I didn't mind that at all. I found it very enjoyable. 
And as you can see, I've added it to my wish list. So I'm going to have to come back to this one as well. All right, let's give this third project a shot. Some instrumental synth pop. Don't mind if I take a look. <laughs> Now, this one was a little bit slow. I didn't it was it wasn't as engaging the whole way through as the other two tracks, but I still quite enjoyed it. I thought it had an interesting sound. So An enjoyable listen, but I don't know if it's something I'd ever listen to again, just for personal preference sake, not because it's bad. It sounded quite good. It's just not the kind of thing I'd usually listen to. Ooh, we got a full mixtape here. Uh, chap Hop Dark Fun Hip Hop Mixtape. I mean, I'll take a look, but I'm definitely not going to listen to the whole thing. I might just give the first track a listen. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I didn't feel his rapping very much, but that chorus section, I think you'd call it around the middle and around the end again, uh, I thought was pretty good. It was a little bit generic, and it reminded me a little bit of Linkin Park in a way. Um, I think he used the same melody, but otherwise, I did, wasn't really feeling it as much. But I could see people enjoying it. Again, just not necessarily my thing. I really, really like that one. That one was... Very good. Maybe... No, I don't think it's my favourite out of all of those just because of how good this one was. I think it's equal second with this one because that, that was a, a nice listen to be sure. Now I'll give this a listen but I'm not sure how I feel about it because I'm very much over uh, drone ambient music at the moment. <laughs> So I was very I was very scared that the start, that first section, was gonna be the whole song, just that noisy industrial stuff. But it got better around this section and then this middle section I really, really liked. It reminds me a little bit of um Crimes, I believe is how it's pronounced. It's the one spelled with a three. Uh yeah, these guys. Um yeah, I, I really enjoyed that song. I really enjoyed the vocal section as well. It was it was some pretty good stuff. <laughs> Yeah, pretty good. I really enjoyed the melodies around the end, the harmonies, I think you'd actually call them, on top of the instrumental they had building up from the start. Um, again, a little bit slow because it felt repetitive, but when the other harmony picked up, it was it made it much more interesting. So yeah, I don't mind that one. It's easy to keep it, it's easy to keep it. This, this was kind of the Foo Fighters album we should have got instead of the uh, last one. It reminded me in a little way of Foo Fighters, at the start not really, but in the chorus especially. Uh, I, I really enjoyed this track, and it seems like this band is doing well, uh, at least relatively well. So, I mean, 
Good on them. Their production is really high. Um, everything about it sounds really good. I'm not gonna lie. I I quite enjoyed this track. All right, let's give myself some punk rock black metal because I want to listen to a little bit of this. Oh, it doesn't just look like that. It looks like it's a whole bunch of shit. So let's let's give it a listen. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna be honest. So far, no idea what to expect. But let's give it a shot. So I'd actually reviewed this band before, I'd reviewed the St. Paddy's Day Massacre and I said I really liked it. Um, this track was a whole lot different and I still really liked it again. I'm probably going to play a couple sections from it because a lot of them were very very different. But it was it was very enjoyable. The only thing I'd change is a transition, the first transition mainly, I didn't like from the weird odd section to the metal section, I didn't like. The rest of the transitions were pretty good. And I really enjoyed it. It was very different to what I was got, what I expected. I don't know what I expected, but it most certainly was not that. So, yeah, quite quite enjoyable stuff. I think that's enough on the thread today. I might look more on the thread when I come back to this, which hopefully won't be as long as last time. But I mean, one can only hope. So, anyway, let's just take a look at a few more of the threads. Um, if they all crap again, then I might sign off. While I'm taking a look through these just to see if there's anything interesting, the music I'm playing in the background that's not someone else's music from these sections is a demo that I recorded that I just don't want to have to actually release. So I'm just going to play it in the background here. I put it on archive.org and I'm not going to post it anywhere else because it's not my greatest work. I have nothing to say. Daft Punk gone. Alright, well since I've been through the whole thing and I haven't seen any other posts that have caught my eye, I think we're... I think we're done. Okay, bye.